Question number 36. In this question, a block A is kept on an inclined plane just begins to slide if the inclination is 45 degree. The block is replaced by another block B and it is found that it just begins to slide if the angle of inclination is 30 degree. Then it may be possible that. Dear student, the coefficient of friction which is responsible for the angle of repose which is given in this question depends only on the material of the objects and not on their masses. In fact, from this data, we cannot actually comment on the comparison between these two masses and hence for us all of the three options will be possible and hence for this question the correct answer should be option number 4. Now let us solve the question number 37. In this question consider a situation the system is released from rest the coefficient of friction between the block and the table is 0.2 and the speed of the block of mass 4 kg when 2 kg mass descends through a distance of 1 meter per second is approximately. Dear student, let the speed of 4 kg mass be V, then from the constraint the speed of 2 kg mass will be V by 2. Now the loss of potential energy will be equal to work done against friction plus kinetic energy. The loss of potential energy will be equal to 2 into 10 into 1 and the work done against friction will be 0 0.2 into 4 into 10 that is mu mg multiplied by the displacement. The displacement of 4 kg block will be 2 meters when 2 kg moves 1 meters plus half into 4v square plus half into 2 into v by 2 square. On solving this we get a value of v to be equal to under root of 4 into 4 by 9 and that will be equal to 4 by 3 meters per second and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 1. Now let us move to the question number 38. Question 38 says that figure shows a smooth horizontal track a part of which is in a vertical circle of radius 1 meter. A block of mass 0.1 kg is pushed against the spring of constant 300 Newton per meter. The initial compression of the spring is such that the block presses the track with force of 1 Newton when it reaches a point P. So we have to find that initial compression. Dear student, here let the normal force be N. It is given that N is equal to 1 Newton. N can be written to be equal to the centripetal force that is mv square by r. So 1 will be equal to 0 0.1 into v square by r that is 1. So v turns out to be equal to root 10. Now let us apply the energy conservation half into k into x square that is the potential energy of the spring will be equal to half into 0 0.1 into root 10 square that is half mv square plus 0 0.1 into 10 into 1 that is mgh change in the gravitational potential energy from this x square will be equal to 1.5 by 150 or x will be simply equal to 0 0.1 meters from the given options we can clearly see that the correct answer should be option number 4 now let us move to the question number 39 Question 39 says, after perfect elastic collision between two identical masses moving with same speed in different directions, the speed of the particles become half of their initial speed. The angle between the velocities of the masses before collision is. The student in, in elastic collision, the momentum remains conserved. Now let the angle theta be the angle between the velocities of the masses. Then we can find out that the resultant momentum p resultant square will be p1 square plus p2 square plus 2 p1 p2 cos theta where p1 and p2 are individual momentums so we can write down that 2m into v by 2 square will be equal to mv square plus mv square plus 2 mv mv cos theta we are using v by 2 here because the given data says that the velocity or the speed becomes half. From this m and v will get cancelled from every term and we can obtain that cos theta will be equal to minus half or theta will be equal to 120 degrees. Meaning that for this question the correct answer should be option number 3. Now let us move to the question number 40. Question 40 says two bodies of mass 10 and 2 are moving with velocities 2y cap minus 7j cap plus 3k cap and minus 10i cap plus 35j cap minus 3k cap. 
the velocity of the center of mass. The student, the velocity of center of mass is defined as m1 v1 vector plus m2 v2 vector by m1 plus m2. So this will be 10 into 2y cap minus 7j cap plus 3k cap plus minus 10i cap plus 35j cap minus 3k cap divided by the total mass that is 12. This will be equal to 0y cap plus 0j cap plus 24k cap divided by 12 meaning 2k cap meter per second. And hence for this question dear student the correct answer is option number 